Okay, so we all love boats. In fact, boating is one of America's favorite family sports. It's like mom and apple pie. The thing is, boating is a big responsibility. There's a lot of boats, a lot of people out there. You got to know the rules. You got to do the right thing. I mean, a lot of people go out on boats to have a good time, and some of them never come back. You dig me? So you got to know how to stay safe out there. That's why the people at the Washington State Parks put this little show together. Now, isn't that nice? Most accidents happen to people who are completely unaware of and unprepared for the dangers they face. We like to call these dangers... Hidden hazards. That's right. A hidden hazard is one that is not readily seen. You're not aware of it until you, like, until you, like, you experience it, man. Like, you might be boating along and come across stuff in the water. Stuff that can foul your keel or your propeller. Uh, it's bad for wildlife, and it just makes a mess. You don't want to come across that. Also, after a long day in the hot sun, you might get tired. You might get fatigued. I then you really poor judgment, and that's dangerous, because the currents can come up. Currents that can redirect you and your boat into places you don't want to be at times you don't want to be there. And then you might not notice a change in the weather. Weather can change very quickly here in Washington State, and you got to be ready for it. Sometimes you'll be boating along and find yourself in a fog so thick you can't even see me, even though we're just sitting a few feet away here. It's dangerous. Also, look out for other boaters. Other boaters are out there, they're not paying attention, you're not paying attention, and you come across each other very quickly. Whoa! Like we just came across the Elwha. Boy, that's remarkable, isn't it? Look out for, for logs that could be floating in the water, sticks and things, and also stuff that might not be floating but is pretty low in the water, like, like a rock, like a big rock. And you gotta get away from it, as we're doing here. You see, it's not always smooth sailing out there, you guys. You gotta be prepared for anything. Okay, let's say something happens and you end up in the water, like let's say the boat capsizes. Should you panic? No, 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 it's good to have a plan. Okay, here's, here's a good first thing. Stay with the boat. Even when they're overturned, boats usually float. Climb up onto it. That gets you out of the water and keeps you warm. It also makes it much easier for people to see you. Now, if the boat's gone, grab onto something that floats. Some people try to swim for it. Now, that's a bad idea. Get you wrapped up in our 50-50, 50-50 rule. Experts say you only have a 50-50 chance of swimming 50 yards in 50-degree water. Now, that's not a very good chance. See, the water cools you off faster than the exercise can keep you warm. It's cold out there. 